This is the State of Quake 2022. Quick look at different aspects of the game to see where the game is currently at. The longtime home of single player content is quaddicted.com. If you click on the map section, you can see all the latest maps that have been released for the game. We're seeing dozens of new maps, map packs, custom episodes, and other content released each year now. This is due to an increase in tools available, such as Trench Broom, for easy mapping. This new content, as well as the discovery of new movement techniques, has led to a boom in Quake speedrunning. Currently living in a renaissance of Quake speedrunning, after a dry period of several years, these last few years have been booming with hundreds and hundreds of records broken each year. Check out speeddemosarchive.com slash quake for all the latest news, movies, videos, as well as the download section to get the standalone package of the required client Joe Quake and all the mods and maps that are currently run. And check out the Discord section for any questions or problems you have. While the single player and speedrunning scenes are booming, the same can't exactly be said about the multiplayer scene. There is still a significant multiplayer scene. There is always someone playing Quake, usually several servers going with free-for-alls and even 4v4 games. Check out badplace.eu to see the current listing of games. Check out nquake.com for an easy install of the client for online play. Quake is difficult to learn and completely imbalanced, but that's what makes it the most pure free shooter that exists. Aside from Deathmatch, Team Fortress is the most widely played game mode, and Fortress 1 is by far the most widely played version of Team Fortress in Quake. It's played every night with large scenes in North America and Australia. Quake faces steep competition from modern games while carrying a severely outdated client, server browser, and netcode. The remastered version available on consoles and Steam has brought new energy and new blood into the game, and this game continues to be played by some diehard players. Quake is an immortal game that will be played forever, so really there's never been a better time to play Quake. Let me know in the comments if you're still playing Quake or why you're so scared.